Last week's winner of the HSI Bluegrass Spring Tour was a latecomer to show jumping, but in the last two years, Daniel Coyle has set the sport on fire. Until last year, little was known about a young rider from Derry who comes from a family with a history in Irish show jumping. Not coming to the fore until he reached the age of 12, in five short years, 17-year-old Daniel Coyle has become the youngest rider to win the Show Jumpers Club Spring Tour since its inception back in 2005. He has strong support from his owners, Lindsay Johnson, Joe McElroy and Jamel McCaughey, who have assisted him greatly during his campaign at the beginning of the season. In an interview immediately after his victory, I asked him about his beginnings in ponies to what his aspirations are for the future. My father used to raise horses and we sort of just were brought along with horses. My older brother Jordan, he he rode uh, ponies all the time, even from he was basically born. Um, I didn't really start, I was eight, nine, ten-ish, you know, really as in start jumping properly or even, even liking them. I didn't even like them at the start. And then uh, just from that, I always had two or three ponies of my own and kept going from that. And then I got uh, my mother, father bought two horses from England. My brother got one and I got the other. And every week we went to Grand Prix and stuff like that. And that's basically how I ended up jumping this. Uh, the biggest one for me in ponies was probably the Odyssey. Uh, I won that in the twelve twos. It was the biggest, the biggest thing I ever done in ponies, probably because it was so more unexpected than than, than normal. You know. So the progression then from ponies to horses. When did that happen? My first, my first thing in horses was I, I had a grey horse and my brother didn't like it. My cousin didn't like it. They both rode the horse and didn't like it, and I jumped it and. Eglinton for a couple of weeks saw it and then it was Eglinton's big show you know and it's the biggest show of the year in Eglinton and it was uh, it was the Grand Prix and I was 12 and we decided that we were going to jump it which was you know kind of mad at the time so anyway he jumped in it and jumped clear in the first round and ended up fourth which was which was massive you know it was never oh so unexpected you know but uh, no, that's basically was my biggest break. So game. 12 years old, you, you, you hit the horses. Hit the horses. And then uh, um, fast forward on to the, 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 the owners that you have now, like uh, J Jamel McCaughey, Lindsay Johnson. Uh, yeah, uh, Lindsay, uh, Jamel, Joe McElroy would be three very good owners for, for, for any any jockey, you know, especially Lindsay. You know, uh, we would do a lot together as in travelling and stuff like that. Today's a big day for you. Yeah, it is a big day. It, uh, it means a lot, you know. Um, I needed, I needed the money, you know, to keep running the shows like this. It, it, it's a lot more expensive than some people understand. Mm -hmm. So, are you still at school, or is, is no, no, a it's a full-time job now? It's a full-time job now. I have a yard at home, and I have 15, 16 horses in, and it's a full-time thing now. Very good. So, what's next now? What's what's your plan for the rest of the season? I have International Balmoral. I have Louth next week. Uh, I'll, I'm going to try and do Hexted. Um, I done Hexted two, three years ago and didn't get down off the bank, so I would like to go back and try and clean that up a bit. Uh, I would say them will be the next couple of things. Not from the next Daniel, week. you must be absolutely thrilled with winning the, the overall league. Yeah, no, I'm delighted. Um, it's a long league. There's a lot of there's a lot of weeks at it, and uh, me and John has been chasing it from from the start. It's a long way now. You were head to head pretty much the whole way through, weren't you, John? We were, yeah, yeah. Well, Dan, Daniel has a he's a great competitor, a very competitive guy. He goes out and tries to win every time, so he's not easy to catch. So, uh, he, he, fair play to him, he did fantastic. Edward, you must be absolutely delighted. Your homebred horse, Flexible, winning the World Cup finals in Sir Togenbosch last week. It's a fantastic achievement. It's something when you start breeding horses, you, you hope to breed one that will get to that level. And thank God I've, I've just achi achieved that. Well, I remember when you had him as a, as a six-year-old, he, he looked like a very, very good horse back then as well, didn't he? He was a fantastic uh, jumper. For me to go further myself, he just wasn't big enough. 
Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a little tall for him, so as a six year old uh, rich fellow fell in love with him in Cavan and, and, and he bought him from me. He is a small compact horse, but with loads of heart. Um, yeah, he is. Uh, there's lo lots of small horses make that level, they just need enough heart and enough talent, and he, he happened to be one of them.